one, like you mentioned, we have a really technical team. We're shipping a product. Um, part of our product is a Kubernetes distribution. So, you know, we have our core team of engineers. If, you know, initially we were relatively small and there was a lot of very deep infrastructure experience there. And so, you know, sure, to your point, we're going to skew a little bit towards build because, hey, like we can do it. Let's just do it. Um, and then I think we started seeing a problem around our, our specific implementation that we had where we would hire, not everybody was you know, like a Kubernetes expert. Not every engineer on the team had deep Kubernetes expertise. And, you know, we had, you know, we, we wanted to hire folks with really good specialties, you know, maybe like a good front end engineer or a good, you know, an engineer who, who knows how to work in this stack or this particular language, this framework, doesn't really know Kubernetes. And the, the, the kind of the, the onboarding cost and the overhead of keeping them successful was a little bit difficult. Uh, and we, this was before we actually had a dedicated platform team. Um, so, you know, we can, we like, there were a lot of different reasons, but I think, you know, kind of that, that tipping point was when we realized like, you know, wow, if we actually sit down and we calculate how much time we're spending fighting all of the different environments, troubleshooting these ad hoc one-off scenarios by SSHing in or remote, like controlling a developer's machine to get them back and successful. And how many hours did we just lose in productivity for that one engineer? It was adding up to a significant amount. And then, you know, the, there was no, there was no scale that was really going to happen the way that we were building it. You know, like as we added, grew the team and added more engineers that that problem grew 